What's the best way to reduce? Eat plenty or starve yourself? Starve yourself? Wrong. A half-empty stomach causes hunger tantrums. What's going on, gang? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome to my channel if you're new. I am reviewing the Purium 10 Day Transformation. I'm sure we've all heard about the Master Cleanse. Ah uh, yes, Master Cleanse, the diet plan made popular by Beyonce on Oprah in 2006. So you get to eat tea and lemonade with maple syrup and cayenne pepper for 10 days. Sounds delightful. It guarantees you to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. I did the master cleanse. Not only was it not fun, it feeds candida, which is the overgrowth of gut bacteria that most of us have. Candida can lead to many health and wellness issues and weight issues as well. I thought I was dying. My body most definitely thought I was dying. I'm sorry. I'm so hungry. So what happens there is you are going to lose 10 pounds in 10 days on the master cleanse, but here's why. Your muscle begins to atrophy and you drop all of the excess water weight going on in your body. Not only that, your colon is completely flushed out. No bueno. Ditch that nonsense. It's horrible. So then your body gets all of the weight back with interest at the end because your cells think they're starving. And so they're gonna pack on, when you start eating again, any fat they can find. When I lived in BC four years ago, my goodness, I owned a yoga studio and a health clinic there and I heard about Purium. Just as a side note, I am not affiliated with Purium at all. However, I started researching into Purium because I heard about this 10 day transformation thing that they were selling. It was incredible. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but it is so unbelievably worth it. So what happens is you are taking amino profile pills so these pills were designed to put muscle on people that are either paralyzed or in a coma I did link the video below that explains that in more detail for you so check that out if you want more detail on that basically your muscles are not getting any atrophy happening your body is then forced to use fat as fuel on the master cleanse you're not using any fat as fuel it's horrible. You want to be using the fat as fuel to burn the fat off and in that way it stays off. It does not come back. So here we go again. I wanted to do it again now that I am a vlogger, now that I have this channel to help share it with you. Because I am doing this, I do have access to $50 off gift cards for anyone that would like one. So comment below if you want to take part in this. Today is day one for me after all of the holidays. So I have a lot of inflammation kicking. What are the top five most inflammatory substances? Gluten, so that's anything made with wheat, barley, or rye, corn, soy, dairy, and alcohol. What do we eat all throughout Christmas and New Year's? All of those shenanigans. Another thing to note, anything below the belly button that is bulging out, so between the belly button and the pubic bone is inflammation. If you have a little bulge there that you can't seem to get rid of, it's because you're inflamed. So get off of those five inflammatory things. Now let's take a look at what all came in this 10 day cleanse and what I'll be doing for 10 days. Okay, let's see it in action. The Purium blender bottle with a compartment on the bottom, a little container where you can either store the powder for the shake or your supplements, whatever. This is my schedule. Every two hours I will be having these concoctions all spaced out. The good thing about this, unlike the Master Cleanse, body's getting all the nutrients. You got these instructions, flex foods, so foods that you can actually eat during this challenge. Warm flex foods, foods, flex beverages, warm flex beverages. Like this is incredible. This is the power shake, the daily fiber blend, pot of cherry. This helps you sleep. It contains tryptophan, which is the same thing in turkey that makes us tired after eating it. Super Amino 23. These are the amino acid pills that make sure our muscles continue to grow well, we're not exercising at all. Super lights. These I take as well with the aminos. These were my measurements from day one. Below my belly button, tons of inflammation, 30 and a half inches. My weight was 124.9 pounds this morning. Came with a handy dandy little soft measuring tape, essential to test your progress. This will also prime you perfectly to begin intermittent fasting, which is also very great for the body. You can search online for more info on that or comment below and I'll help you. Also, this cleanse came with this handy dandy little bag so you can take it around. You are never at a loss for your flex foods or whatever you need. You can bring them 
everywhere with you. My biggest tips for doing a cleanse, for embarking on such a um, not so enjoyable journey, would be keep yourself busy. I'm gonna track and vlog my journey through this challenge. At the end, we will see before and after. I will see you next time. Day two. Good morning. It might not be morning where you are, but here it is 6.01. Today is day two. Last time I did this cleanse, I had an extremely healthy lifestyle prior to doing the cleanse. I eased into it by not eating meats or processed foods or gluten or dairy or alcohol or anything like that for quite some time. Didn't have any processed foods, gluten, dairy. I avoided meat for a good couple months before attempting the cleanse. I was doing holistic health and lifestyle coaching for several years at that point. If you don't know my story, check the link below on the About Me video. When I moved back to Ontario, I kind of went off the rails a bit health-wise. It was a huge transition period for me with divorce and leaving that business, letting go of that dream. So I did start indulging in things like wine here and there. And I was eating meat again. I was eating some processed foods here and there. I wasn't being strict with gluten and dairy. I do live 80-20, so my day-to-day -day life is optimally healthy. In between, and especially recently with all of the holidays, it wasn't a binge or a free-for-all by any means, but I wasn't optimally healthy. Yesterday, the struggle was real. Why is this happening to me? Why is the world so unfair and cruel? I'm going to die on this couch without pizza. My body felt like it was physically dying. I had absolutely zero energy. That is normal. That's a shame. That's what happens when you do detox. So obviously my body was carrying quite a few toxins. I was drinking one or two cups of caffeine a day and I didn't eat out of that. I actually didn't even think about that. That's just dumb. It was green tea. It was, you know, healthier things. I just started this cleanse without noticing the caffeine aspect. Previously when I did this cleanse, I didn't drink caffeine. The headaches, the shakes, the weakness. I was crying yesterday for God knows what reason. It was just not so cool. Last night I went to bed and I woke up at 2.30 in the morning awake. Not awake where you feel good and energized awake. Awake where you just can't stand being awake and you really want to go back to sleep. I tried with all my might. I did not fall back asleep. That is why right now it is 6 a.m. I don't want to start the shakes and the flex foods that are allowed right now just because that would cut me off at around like 6 p.m. No. Today I did notice a few breakouts. That happens also with detox. Remember in your body fat stores toxins. So when your body is using the fat for the fuel like in this and trying to eliminate all of the toxins from your body it's going to be pushing these toxins also out through your skin. I used to get eczema when I did introduce gluten and alcohol and certain things into my diet. So I'm noticing some itchiness on the areas where I used to have eczema. That again is normal. That is a symptom of the gut bacteria die off period. I feel as though today I've got a cold coming on. That doesn't happen to me usually either. So I am gonna bump this up with some garlic echinacea and vitamin C. Let's look at me jumping on the scale here. I am now 122.6 pounds. So I lost 2.3 pounds overnight. I did notice a reduction already in inflammation and water retention. I do see more ab lines today. There will be before and after photos for you to check out at the end of the video. So stay tuned till the end of the video to see those. Let's get into the kitchen and check out these flex foods. Flex foods are allowed during the hours where you're not having the shake. Cucumbers and celery are unlimited. I still don't want to go unlimited because I am trying to clean out my gut. So I bought kombucha yesterday. I had a green one. Here we've got turmeric, beets, mixed stick, mango. I bought these little cukes. Not a cucumber fan in general, but if I get hanger today, like yesterday, oh buddy. It's organic apples, organic avocados. Just a note, you're not supposed to be feeling hungry even, never mind hangry. That is 
me and my indulgence in sugar and such recently. This cleanse is so packed with superfoods that when I did this before in BC, I was keeping busy. I was in the forest every day. I was feeling amazing. So I didn't ever think about hunger or get hangry at all. This is a little bit of a different experience. My body is already today way more used to fasting. I'm not hangry. I can forget about hunger even. It's just sort of a little sensation that I can feel there that I'm now used to but I'll keep you posted as we go along. I keep hearing that the third, fourth, and fifth days are the worst. I hope those aren't the worst because I was hoping to be out of the woods of fog that I've got kick in by the fifth day, but we'll see. Day three. What's going on, gang? Welcome to day three. Yesterday is over, thank God. Goodness, yesterday was by far the hardest day so far. I know it's only the third day in, but yesterday the headaches were atrocious. The caffeine withdrawal was definitely difficult. Ah, uh, it feels like there's a bulldozer driving on my skull. My head felt like it weighed a million pounds. I could barely walk. It was no, no good. Thank goodness I can just work from home when I want. And so that was a blessing. Yesterday also I noticed my body wasn't going all crazy with the five alarm. There's no food happening. So I've had half an avocado, one apple. I think I had a kombucha the first day and yesterday I ended up having three baby cucumbers because celery and cucumbers are unlimited. So I will be having cucumbers every time I get that crazy, angry, scary feeling. Today, I weighed in at 120.2 pounds. So 4.7 pounds gone of water retention, toxins. I obviously didn't have much fat weight to lose, really. I was trying to get rid of water retention, toxins, and primarily inflammation. The leading cause of most diseases in this world is inflammation. Inflammation is in even the skinniest of folk. So don't think that just because you're not a bigger person that you're not inflamed. Obviously this is very low calorie so I won't be doing any exercising. Day three, so far we're feeling better. Oh yes, I wanted to talk about the emotional aspect. Day one I was crying at silly things. Thought why am I being so emotional? Day two, I felt more depressed. A lot of depression symptoms happening. Did you know that your gut creates 90% of your serotonin. That's the happy chemical in the brain. 90% is regulated by the gut. So obviously the depression symptoms make perfect sense. My gut is dumping all of the bad, yucky overgrowth of bacteria that's in there right now. But this morning, oh my goodness, I was in bed from 9 p.m. till 7.30 a.m. <laughs> That's a long time. It felt glorious. I did have a bit of a rough sleep. I woke up a few times. I know my body's trying to handle this blood sugar difference right now, but that's okay because it's so worth it. The happiness today. I feel so good today. I am so much happier. I am carefree. I am feeling motivation again. I feel renewed. And that's how we should always feel. And it's not fair to us that we can harm our thoughts by the food that we're putting into our system. If you want more information on that, please comment below and I'd be happy to give you that. Anyway, day three, let's get at this. Day four. We have survived the first three days. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't wait for this to be over. <laughs> When I was in BC, I eased into this for like a year because I had a super healthy lifestyle anyways. I wasn't even intentionally easing in. This one has bowled me over. I felt yesterday really good in the morning when I recorded the check-in. And then around 11.45 a.m., boom. Here's Johnny. There's the headache again. And I was really dragging my weight around all day. This morning, I woke up at 4.30, I think, in the morning, and I couldn't get back to sleep. It's a weird feeling because you feel like you're ready to start the day. Today, I've got a lot of low back pain. Low back pain is 90% caused by inflammation in the colon and the small intestine. So I'm thinking that's maybe where my pain is coming from. I don't know, but yeah, killer low back pain today. I have some brain fog today that might be due to the lack of sleep and a little bit low level energy. I really miss my caffeine. Oh, no, you don't need no coffee. You're going through caffeine withdrawal. That sounds ridiculous because I spent years not having any caffeine, but I'm missing it. So. I'm having green tea caffeine free in the morning, but that's fine. Today my weight was the same, but that's good because I really didn't have weight to lose. I was doing this for detox purposes. My inflammation is somewhat gone. 
I do notice a little bit still below the belly button, but I've been eating an apple a day and I know that apples do tend to bloat me a little bit. Caffeine withdrawal is no joke, folks. If your body can feel as bad as mine has felt over the past three days, it's really bad to be putting those things in your body. Truth be told, you really don't need caffeine if you have an appropriate lifestyle. So sleeping from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. is grand for that. All of the physical repair you need from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., all of the mental and emotional repair you need from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., get on that. It's really gonna help you. I'm hoping the headache stays away today. I did take a CBD capsule yesterday, or two actually. Why didn't I think of that for the previous days? You're done. It cured my headache. Day four, the clouds clear and the headaches are gone. So I'm feeling all right right now. I don't have a headache yet. And yesterday I spent $10.15 on one pack of celery, organic of course, one package of six small cucumbers that are just the same size as a large dill pickle and one English cucumber. What? $10.15. We was robbed! Watch out for the stores you go to because smaller name stores do now carry organic produce. Go there. But I was feeling so terrible I could not venture any farther. So blessed to be able to do this. Blessed to feel all of these side effects. I know that this is working. I can feel it working. I can't wait for day 10. I'll see you next time. The next day. Hey gang, welcome to day four. No, no, no. Today is day five. Oh my gosh. I just got so so excited. Wow, my brain is so over this that I still thought I was stuck in day four. What year is it? I am halfway. So as a weight update, I am down 4.9 pounds. Again, I am a small person, but I am pretty excited today to check out what my before and after pictures are going to be like, because like, I don't know. I can tell changes. There's no water retention. I'm not jiggly. My skin is clearing now and it's becoming glowy and radiant, which is so nice. I have no more brain fog and I actually have a super happy feeling every morning. Well, throughout the day even, but especially in the mornings, I'm just so happy and excited for no reason. So I can tell that my head is cleared. I was experiencing some serious low back pain this morning. It happens mostly in the mornings. I can tell though from what I know and what I feel that that's coming from my gut there are no more headaches do you remember when you were a kid having growing pains oh my lord I don't know what is going on if the amino acid pills are still bulking me because they should be putting muscle on the body throughout this cleanse but my upper legs so my hamstrings quads all of that holy crap the growing pains were intense last night anyhow that is my day five halfway check-in. Also, I got more creative with food. So I will post a picture here of my dinner last night. <laughs> it was raspberries and avocado. I'm learning how to incorporate the serving sizes that I'm allowed of the specific flex foods into different types of meals rather than feeling like I'm just throwing something in my mouth periodically throughout the day. So since cucumbers were always unlimited, I decided also to smash up half an avocado and use cucumber chips to dip it in. So excited, feeling amazing. Can't wait to see what happens over the next four days. Absolutely can't wait to see the results. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Epilogue. Because of the length of time of this video, I thought that I'd spare you and show you days six through 10 in the next video that I will be posting exactly one week today. Please subscribe to this channel. Subscribing really is where the support does come from. Once you subscribe, please hit that little bell notification button and you will be sent a notification when I do post that video showing my results. Please give this video a thumbs up for me if you thought it was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all. And I will see you next Friday with the results. Have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun trying new things that make you healthier for it in the end. And I'll catch you next week. Bye.